Check out ProBoxingSupplies.com, PowerPerformanceProducts.com, and you're watching MMAInterviews.tv. So does that mean it's a little bit of an effort to keep it in control? And it, to, and it, it, is, it is very hard. It is very hard. You know, that's why you, you, you deserve, you know, that it's very hard. If I would go and answer back to Nick Diaz and say F word and this and that, of course I want to do it. Like, there is nobody, you know what I mean? I, I want to answer back. I would like, you know, to, you know, but it's not, like I said, I stand for something bigger than, than myself, you know, even though I want to do it, but I have a line of conduct and, and I, I want to respect that. Because you don't want to recreate what was happening to you when you were a kid. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't want and I want to, I want to be able to, to help people as well. If Wayne Gretzky back then, uh, after a hockey game, if someone gave him a body check, like, I'm sure it happened sometimes, he was, he was angry. He was like, he took that money, he would, he would have said, oh yeah, next time I will kill him. Like, I would have looked at this and I would, I would be like, oh, if Wayne Gretzky do it, I'm going to do it as well. So I would, you know, I would try to mimic him the way he acted. But he never did it. He always stay on bold and a nice guy. And I want to do the same thing. Of course, sometimes I'm, I'm mad and I, I got a lot of demon in my head, but I, I, I don't show it. So I know you've been in LA for a while. Um, while you've been there, even though you can't fully train, have you seen Freddie Roach? Have you been at least doing some things at all physically? I can't. I can't box right now because it's in the twisting motion, and like I said, my, my ligament is not fused together properly yet to start that. I think in a few weeks I will be able to start slowly different. Like maybe boxing things like this, but uh, right now it's too soon. I'm focusing on strengthening my leg, and the, the, the main thing for me, the most dangerous thing, like the, the most important thing, is to let the time do the healing. That's the most important thing. So how do you stay sane though? Are you are you still a gym rat? Do you go still hang out in the gym and watch? No, I, 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 I go. I hang out with Freddie every week. Uh, I learn from him just by talking to him, see how this boxer get ready for fights. Then this guy is firing there, they, they fight for a world title, and it's good for my eyes to see. Um, when I go back in Montreal, I, I go I going out to the gym, see the guys train, and, and you know, you can learn a lot of stuff. I've been writing down a lot of stuff that, that I I think I will make my training more efficient, and it will, it will make me a better martial artist. Uh, one of the main things that I've learned from in, in this whole story is Better is not often, uh, more is not always better. Smarter is better. And uh, when I come back training, I will have a to totally new mentality. And, and I used to say all the time, oh, I'll sleep when I die. This is probably one of the most stupidest thing I ever said. And, and I realize now why. And I will never make a same mistake twice. Because the thing that I've learned to, you can be overtrained. Overtraining is not only muscular. And that's what happened to me. You know, even though, if, Sometimes you feel overtrained, even though you, you haven't trained hard the, the day before. But so much thing going on in your head and your life that you're burned out from the inside out instead of being from the outside in. And overtrain is it's also with the nervous system, you know. So the nervous system it's even more important than the muscle because the nervous system it wraps around the muscle. And if you're mentally, if your nervous system is tired and overtrained, that's what happened to me. You can get hurt, and it's very dangerous. So. Overtrain is only muscle. It could be, let's say you have a crazy life, some, you have a lot of problems going on in your life. It's very hard to train properly when, when that happens because you're mentally burned out. What did you pick, learn from, from Freddie Roach? I mean, primarily he's the trainer for boxers, <coughs> but what did you pick up for him outside of the striking? Uh, Freddie is, uh, is an incredible human being. Uh, the, the way he, he fights, it's, it's very, uh, very interesting. You know, he he he, he, uh, he has a pro like a protocol, uh, like a system that he used for all his boxers, all his coaches at the gym, and it, it's very interesting. And and um, what he the the all the the stuff that he uses boxing, all the the his system that he uses in boxing, I can apply that in wrestling and jujitsu and all all the. Uh, all the different sport and in mixed martial arts as well. So uh, what he showed me in boxing, I can apply it in other disciplines and, and learn from it. Everything is all connected together. When you become a, a martial artist, you, you find out after a few years that all disciplines are different, but it's all connected. It, it all, it's all the same, the same laws. They, they all, all the same laws uh, apply to every discipline. George, will you go to the UFC event? 
yes, I go to Sweden, yeah, because I have a good training partner of mine and a good friend that is fighting at my corner, Francis Catmont. He's training very, very hard, and uh, I can't be training with him right now, but next time I go to Montreal, I, I'm not sure I, I get an eye on it. Any chance for a meet and greet with the Swedish fans? Absolutely, I guarantee you will have it. Of course. George, the, the fight on Saturday is for a belt, and we've heard uh, cha Inter Champion say before that that's a fake belt, it doesn't really mean anything. Would you take that stand, or do you believe that whoever wins on Saturday is the welterweight champion for the time being? Well, I, I believe it will be welterweight champion, because in my contract I'm supposed to defend my belt uh, every every year, and I won't be able to defend it this year. Uh, last fight was against Jake Shield, and because of everything that I've happened, uh, the injury, the you know the fight that got cancelled before between me and Nick's and, and and everything. So I think it's fair to give it a title, and but you know I've been I've been defending my title for so many times, so I don't really fight to be champion anymore because I became champion many times. I fight to, for the name, I fight to beat the best guy, and I'm glad that I want to fight the best the best man in the world to be the best. That's what it is about. If you, if you are cleared by the doctors and you're allowed to go ahead and start training full on again, how long do you think it would be before you'd be able to actually step in the cage and fight? Uh, doctor tell me I will be able to wrestle and go full out around, around July. July I'll be able to go full out if everything goes well. How much time do you need to be ready to fight a Nick Diaz or a Carlos Condit after you start training? You'll, I just got to get back so timing will be off a little bit. Two, three months, so October, that November maybe, end of October, no, November maybe. So you said that you would like to fight Nick, obviously. Do you think he's a tougher fight than Carlos, though? Should Carlos win? How do you see that competition going with you? He, they both have different style of fighting. Uh, standing up, Carlos Condit has, I, I believe, more power, and he has more diversity in his striking than Nick. Nick though got got is more accurate and he's uh, he's a kind of guy that he he he, 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 he controls distance very well. On the ground, uh, Carlos Condit is in grabbing. He like to create chaos, and from chaos he does things very well. He's a, he like create the chaos. Nick on the ground he like to be in control all the all the time. Most like a, mostly like. A, Standard, like a real jiu-jitsu guy. He, 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 he's good in scramble, but he liked, like his jiu-jitsu is very like pure like jiu-jitsu. He liked to be in control, uh, uh, which which uh, Khan did. He, he liked to create the chaos, and from the chaos, that's that's where he's at best. So they they're, they both have a different style, and even though they're very good standing up on the floor in every aspect, they, they have a very uh, a very different style. So whoever will win, I'm gonna have to adjust myself to that style and, and get ready for that kind of opponent. George, it's been a long time since you've been the fighter that's trying to earn a title shot. Can you tell us what the difference is to be that hungry fighter and where you are now? And do you look down and, and at the guys that are gunning after you and what do you think of them? Do you pay attention to Ellen Berger or Sanchez or, or Johnny Hendricks? Are you even paying attention to them or just not yet? I pay attention to this, of course, uh, but there's so many things that can happen in that sport. Sometimes you expect to fight someone and he lose. I just remember uh, Rick's story. You know, he was the next big thing, and he lost. He lost the fight. Uh, you know, so nobody would would have expected that. So, from my experience, I, I always pay attention to the next guy who I'm gonna fight next, because the other one after, I, I I don't know. I truly don't know who will win. Who you know, will be there. So you never know. It's, it's a it's a crazy sport, mixed martial art. And as far as of uh, being angry, un, un, hungry again, I, I never been so hungry for a long time. And the reason is, when I become champion, every guy that I was fighting, a lot of people they always said, "Oh, he's gonna win easy." I don't even know why he's fighting that guy. And now that I'm that I got hurt, it's a big it's a big thing. You know, it's a big injury. A lot of people they don't come back as good as they were. Uh, most people do if they do the right thing. And it question a lot. Uh, a lot of people are quite, they, they they think that I might not never come back the same, or uh, Nick Diaz is better than me, or you know I might not ever come back on top. So I have that 
that challenge uh, back in, into my life and, and it lights a lot of fire <coughs> into me and it, it make me have more fun and I give me more drive so I never never really feel that much ex that, that excitement back since it's been a long time I haven't feel that 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 feeling uh, and I'm, I'm glad I can't wait to fight again I'll be I'll be on fire when I come back just be, uh, you, you see yourself being more technical than with the Technical fighter. Uh, technical is a big word. Nick Diaz is very good at what he does. He's better than me at what he does best. I'm better than him at what I do best. So when you fight a guy, you know, people say, oh, he doesn't have the conditioning. He got that. It's, 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 conditioning has nothing to do with this. And in UFC, I guarantee you, every athlete that fight in UFC, they, they're in top shape. The difference that makes someone tired and another guy is not tired is that the guy that is that is that is more tired is because he doesn't fight his fight. He fight the fight that his opponent. He fight the fight where his opponent is is, is better than him. He, he doesn't fight his fight. If I fight my fight, I will be in control of my of the environment, and I will not be as tired as if I fight my opponent fight. So technical. Everybody is technical in what they do best. You know, some people are better at doing some certain things than others. That's what it is. I did an interview with uh, Dan Severn yesterday and he was speaking very highly about you and he said that you represent the sport. Uh, back when he was fighting, there was no media and no, you know, the psychological game between the, uh, you know, the fights uh, like you have now with Nick Diaz. How, how would you see this fight would be in was 20 years ago? No media, you just walk into the ring, no pre-talk or anything like that? But t to tell you the truth, I, I heard that Nick Diaz doesn't like interview and, and I... I'm not gonna lie to you. I despise it. Like if I would, if I could, I would have stay home and sleep. I would, uh, oh yeah, I would, I would have had my breakfast, do my my day will go on. I would have maybe go train and do my thing in it. But I have to come here and do it. So it's, I don't do it because I like it. You know, you have to understand. I and you know, I give the good impression. I, I laugh and everything because I have to do it. It's part of my job, and you know, I try to enjoy it. And even though it's, you know, if I I would prefer be somewhere else and be free and do something else, of course. But it's part of the job, and you need to do it. So, uh, if it would be back in the day, uh, of course, it would be just that fight, it would be great, but the reason why we have more money now as athletes and our sport get mainstream is because of this, you know, and, and it's part of the job to do it. It's part of my job to, to promote the fight. People want to know what goes through my head and it, it, and it's normal and it's okay too. I, I don't enjoy it, but I have to do it and, and it's fine. <laughs> Je ne sais pas où, où le combat va être, euh, si c'est à Montréal, si c'est à Montréal, si c'est peu importe où est-ce que le combat va être, euh, je vais me battre n'importe où. Même si je dois aller dans, à, à Stockton dans, dans, dans sa cour arrière, euh, si l'UFC fait que le combat est là dans, dans, dans l'octogone, mais je dois aller à Stockton, j'en ai, ai rien à foutre. Euh, je, vais, je vais me battre peu importe où est-ce que l'UFC dit. How frustrating will it be to have to maybe wait out another fight? If Diaz even wins, he may have to fight one more time before fighting you. What do you think about that? No, no, I hope he's going to wait. You know? I want him to wait for me. I don't want... I want to be the guy that, that will take him, you know? It's, and I'm, I'm sure he's not going to fight. He's going to be... You just have to wait a few months, you know? And it'll be fine. You just have to go on vacation, relax a little bit. And uh, I'll be back soon. Godspeed and party on.